Here is an example from my math lab in which I need to use the intercepts to graph the equation 2x minus 4y equals 14. I'm going to need to find the intercept, so let me get my scratch paper out. Here's my equation. It is a linear equation in x and y, so when I graph it, I will get a straight line. Since it's an equation, not an inequality, I'm going to graph it with a solid line. So now I need to find the intercepts. The x-intercept is when y equals 0, so I'm going to plug 0 up into this equation. So I get 2x minus 4 times 0 equals 14. 4 times 0 is 0. So I'm just going to get 2x equals 14. Dividing both sides by 2, x is going to equal 14 divided by 2, which is 7. So my x-intercept is the point 7, 0. Now I need to find the y-intercept by setting x equal to 0. So that means I'm going to put a 0 up here. So I'm going to get 2 times 0 minus 4y equals 14. 2 times 0 is 0. So I just get negative 4y equals 14. To isolate the y, divide both sides by negative 4. So I get y equals 14 divided by negative 4. Numerator and denominator are divisible by 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times. 2 goes into 4 twice. So I'm going to get y equals negative 7 halves. But since I need to graph it, I'm going to turn that into a decimal. So my y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, comma, negative 3.5. So now I'm ready to graph my line. In my math lab, you click to enlarge the graph. I need to move my graph over a little bit. Since I'm graphing a line, use the line tool. Make sure the solid line is selected. And now I need to graph my points. So reviewing. My x-intercept was 7, 0. So looking at my graph, notice as I move my cursor around, the coordinates up here change. So I need the point starting at the origin, 7, 0 is over here. So there is my x-intercept. And what was my y-intercept? 0, negative 3.5. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 3, and negative 3.5 is right there. There's my line. You save it. Here's the line. Do my intercepts look correct? 7, 0, 0, negative 3.5, and then you check your answer. That is outside the viewing window, so let me just check it. And I got it right. One last thing. This problem told you to use the intercepts to graph the equation. If you plotted the correct line but didn't use the two intercepts, maybe use two other points or one intercept and another point, my math lab will tell you it's incorrect. It will say you've graphed the correct line but didn't use the intercept. So please make sure you follow instructions.